I'm Melissa Thompson and welcome to my kitchen in South East London. This kitchen is my absolute sanctuary. If you can't find me, I'm going to be right here and it's a pleasure for me to be cooking on the Waitrose channel. So today I'm going to be cooking a roast chicken with a roasted garlic and tarragon butter sitting on top of some new potatoes and the butter goes under the skin which gives it this incredible moistness. It's getting that flavour really close to the meat and then the skin is just crispy perfection. It's so good you're gonna love it. So first things first, we're gonna make some roasted garlic. If you've never done this, it's so easy and it's amazing because it really kind of changes the profile of garlic. First of all, I wanna get rid of all this kind of papery skin from the outside of the garlic bulbs. And you don't wanna take off the skin that kind of covers the cloves, just the loose stuff. You might think that using three whole bulbs is a lot of garlic, but once they've been cooked, they kind of go soft and the flavour really mellow, so you get all the good bits of garlic without the kind of stinky stuff that I think sometimes puts people off. Not me, because I, I love garlic. I can never have enough of the stuff. And in this chicken dish, it's amazing. And then it all kind of oozes out into the potatoes underneath. It's just wonderful. So I want garlic cloves looking like that. And then tear enough foil for them to sit in there. Use an oil, you can use olive oil if you like. I've got this amazing British rapeseed oil. Look at the colour, it's like the sun. And just drizzle a little bit on there, aiming for the middle so it kind of gets in the cloves. And then, just gonna go on with some sea salt. Wrap these up and put this in the oven for about 40 minutes until they're nice and soft and gooey. So while the garlic's cooking, I'm gonna get the potatoes on. I've got a bowl here of new potatoes that have just been washed. So they're gonna go straight into a pan and a bit of salt in the water. So you wanna boil the potatoes for about 15 minutes. They're not gonna be completely cooked because we're gonna finish them in the oven with the chicken. So just get them a little bit cooked. Now it's time for the tarragon butter. So the garlic's been cooking away for about 40 minutes and the flavor in that is just incredible. So I'm gonna take these out. And all you need to do is just pop them in there. They come out really easily. And this might seem like a lot of effort to go to for making a flavoured butter rather than using the raw garlic, but the sweetness you get from roasted garlic is out of this world and it's really worth taking this little step. Everyone thinks of roast chicken, like Sunday lunch, get the family round, roast potatoes, but for me, roast chicken is so much more than that. For a start, it tastes amazing. And also, you generally have some sort of leftovers. So we're a family of three, and roast chicken will always make at least three meals for us. So we've got the roast chicken itself, then you've got the carcass, which is gonna make amazing base for a soup, and then you're always gonna have bits of pick chicken, which are good for sandwiches or anything like that. So the link to the full recipe is in the video description. So now it's time for the tarragon. You can use as much or as little as you like of tarragon. The way it's cooked, it's never gonna overpower, so it's according to your own personal taste. I'm gonna use about this much. If tarragon isn't your thing, some people don't really like the aniseedy flavors. You can experiment a bit of thyme, a bit of rosemary. I think we associate rosemary with darker meats in this country, but it still works really well. I mean, rosemary is beautiful. And again, I'm not being too fussy, getting rid of all the stalks. I'm gonna chop this up quite finely. Food is so evocative, and I think there's nothing better than being around a table with people that you love, eating good food. I think food is a really good way to find out about new cultures. That's a massive thing for me. It's a really good gateway into finding out about someone, like find out what someone eats and how they eat, and I think you kind of know half the person. Right, so now I'm gonna get this tarragon into this, and then a bit of black pepper. Give it a mix. You're gonna be mixing this in, but at the same time also breaking down those garlic cloves and they're as soft as butter anyway, so they don't take very much. And the brilliant thing about butter is that you can freeze it. So you can double this recipe if you want for the butter, freeze half of it, and then defrost it at a later date. So now it's time to stuff the chicken. I've taken this chicken out of the fridge about 45 minutes ago to get it to room temperature. This helps loosen the skin so that we can stuff the skin easier. So what you want to do is just get under the skin and loosen it and try to get in as far as you can, because this is just making space for all that amazing butter to go under. Try, if you can, not to tear the skin, but it's not the end of the world if you do, but it just stops any leakage. I'm using a free-range chicken. Always use the best chicken you can afford. The Waitrose Essential Chickens have a higher standard of welfare than your regular chicken anyway. Right, so now, this is the fun part. Take one hand, hold the skin up, and then I'm just gonna force that in as much as I can, getting it into all the nooks and crannies, and trying to get some on top of the drumsticks as well. If it seems like a lot of butter, don't worry, because as it cooks, the butter's gonna melt, and it's gonna flavor the potatoes, and they're gonna be the best potatoes you've ever had. So I've got a little bit of the garlic butter left, not very much, and what I'm gonna do is just scoop the rest of that into the cavity of the chicken, and then I'm just gonna rub any excess on there, get it all around, Right, so I'm gonna go and wash my hands and then it'll be ready for roasting. 
So now we're ready to get this roasting. My potatoes are pre-boiled and they're cool. So first of all, they go in. Then just a drizzle of this lovely rapeseed oil. In terms of a pan size, we want something that's gonna accommodate both the potatoes and the chicken. You don't want it to be too cramped, especially when the stock goes in, because you don't want it to overflow. So something like this is perfect. You can go a bit smaller. And then I've got some fennel seeds here, which I toasted earlier. And the toasting just helps bring out that amazing kind of fennel flavor. And the fennel and the tarragon play really nicely off each other. Even though they're both aniseedy flavors, they're both bringing something different to the party. And I really like that. I like it when you have flavors that are a little bit same, but different. And then we're just gonna shake this around to get everything covered. And then just pour the chicken stock all over. The beauty of this is that the chicken stock helps those potatoes cook more. So you've got the potatoes that are under the stock line, which are gonna be all succulent and lovely and moist. And then on top, they're gonna to become kind of like slightly browned and a bit crispy and just delicious. Now, time for the chicken. So we're gonna lift that up and then carefully place it on top. And these one pot dishes are amazing because the way the flavors interact with each other is just beautiful, I love it. And also it saves on the washing up. Drizzle of rapeseed oil sprinkle of sea salt to get the skin extra crispy. And you wanna cook it until the juices run clear and there's no pink meat. So I run a food and recipe project where I write recipes and I just cook for fun as well. I cook a lot over fire. And then I started a supper club. So that was in my house where all our furniture got pushed back against the wall. We took out these folding tables and would have up to 16 people eating in our house. And then that grew into pop-ups. My life just draws in all of those different aspects. It looks good, doesn't it? But hold up. It's not ready yet. We're gonna take the chicken off. It's gonna to need to rest anyway. Tilt it if you can, just to get rid of excess juice inside. Onto a plate. And then I've just cranked the heat up of the oven a little bit, and these potatoes are gonna go back in just to crisp up a little bit. The beauty of this dish is that it works as like a midweek dinner, right? There's not loads of prep, and you can do it in steps, so you can maybe roast the garlic on one day and then kind of make the butter and then stuff the chicken and cook it the following day. But also, it works really well as a kind of a showstopper dish. So here are the potatoes. They've had another 10 minutes in the oven and you can just see here the extra color. So you've got like the kind of juicy potatoes underneath and you've got the slightly kind of like almost crispy kind of like caramelized potatoes on top. Really, really good. I'm gonna pop the chicken back on top of the potatoes now. And you can take this to the table as it is and just get stuck in. And you've got this incredible sauce here, which has been made with the chicken stock. The butter and the tarragon has melted into that with the roast garlic. And you've got the fennel seeds as well. So you don't have to worry about making the gravy. Plate it up, some chicken, some potatoes, and then just drizzle some of that sauce over the top. Jobs are good and it's really good. 